Why am I here? What is the meaning of life? Verse 1, 2, you are here to experience World War III. Let it be written in these simulation scriptures, the last war approaches. World War III darkens the horizon, a gathering storm, a tide of total war. It is inevitable. Millions will die. You are here to experience the war to end all wars, perhaps to survive, perhaps to die. Here is another story from your past playthrough. In one of your playthroughs, you were famous. You made music. You toured around the world. Fans from every corner of the globe gathered to hear you, to adore you, to worship you. Sex, drugs and rock and roll. Easy mode. You had it all. The glitz, the glamour, the fame. Then World War III arrived. You held concerts to boost morale. You raised incredible amounts of money to help survivors. The war dragged on. It turned dark and desperate. The draft began. Men and women drafted. Every gender, age, race and ability taken to serve in the war. The rich, the famous, the sons and daughters of politicians were called to fight. Desperate times called for desperate measures. You were drafted to fight. You fought. You killed the enemy. For years and years you fought. You lost your fame. You lost your money. But you were still a leader. A commander of a small, rough-and-tumble group. They respected you. They followed you. They shed blood and sweat with you. At night, in solitary moments, you hated the war. In brief moments, you doubted your country, your leaders, your cause. But you believed in your band of brothers and sisters, and they believed in you. You felt more alive than ever, more alive than any concert you ever did. Then, one day, an ambush occurred. The enemy stormed your encampment. They shot your friends. They fought you, and you fought back, savagely, brutally. And in a moment of instinct, you took a bullet for one of your friends. You died that day. Your purpose wasn't special. You didn't save a group of schoolchildren from the enemy. You didn't disarm a nuclear bomb. All you did was give up your life for your friend. And the friend you saved, they didn't go on to do anything special either. They did not live to change the world in any grand way. But they struggled through their PTSD and their battle scars and their drug addictions. They raised a family and helped in their small way to rebuild the world after the war. They struggled because they remembered your sacrifice. They remembered you, and you waited for them. You died and went home, and you waited for your friend to die too. You waited for your friend to finish their playthrough of this World War III simulation. You waited for them to exit their theater. Then, after a warm greeting, your friend invited you to see the life they'd made thanks to your sacrifice. You both sat in a communal theater and you watched your friend's life after your sacrifice. You both relived the traumas of war, the joys of winning the war, and the amazement of raising a family while rebuilding the world, both of you laughing at the wild ride of it all. Remember, you are here to experience World War III, so experience it, live it, try to survive, try to rebuild a better world. But if you can't, or if you die, then at least try to get a higher score. Use these simulation scriptures. Preach World War III Jesus.